Hello friends, welcome to Valinol. In this video, we will share five black TV sitcoms that came and went. Before watching, please make sure to like and subscribe our channel for any latest video. Number 1. Barefoot in the Park In this show, Escoe Mitchell and Tracy Reed play Paul and Corey Bratter, newlyweds who struggle to survive their first year of marriage in New York. Barefoot in the Park was a short-lived 70s TV show, based on the Neil Simon Broadway play it is named after, as well as the 1967 classic film that starred Robert Redford and Jane Fonda. Why don't we call the owner of another building and ask for a new apartment? Yeah. I don't understand you, Paul. This apartment is so groovy, and you don't like anything in it. Oh, that's not true. I'm very fond of those blue ashtrays, Mr. Butler. <laughs> An interesting thing about Barefoot in the Park is the fact that it was the first American TV sitcom since Amos and Andy to feature a predominantly black cast. Amos and Andy first aired in the late 1920s. To help promote the show, it was featured as the lead-in program for another series based on a Neil Simon play, The Odd Couple starring Tony Randall and Jack Klugman, which debuted immediately afterward. Since both shows followed the long-standing hit Bewitched, ABC hoped it had a couple of winners on its hands, but nope. We all know The Odd Couple went on to be a hit, but barely anyone remembers Barefoot in the Park. Do you remember this classic TV show? Number 2. That's My Mama It might not have been The Jeffersons or Good Times, but I remember That's My Mama. I can't remember a single episode, but I do remember the show, sort of. This show was packed with recognizable 70s TV faces like Clifton Davis, Ted Lange, Lynn Moody, Theodore Wilson, Joan Pringle, and Helen Martin. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the man about whom Coca Connolly once said, as they were taking him away for 60 years, I'll get that dirty man. That's my mama starred Clifton Davis as a young man trying to run an inherited barber shop in Washington, D.C. He enjoys the single life. But his opinionated mother, Alois Mama Curtis, played by Teresa Merritt, keeps prodding him to start a family. The show was never a rating success so it was cancelled in 1975. An interesting fact about That's My Mama is that it was the first TV series produced by Columbia Pictures Television, which later brought us such TV hits as Charlie's Angels, Family, What's Happening, and Benson, among many others. Number 3. Frank's Place Frank's Place starred Tim Reed as a black professor at an Ivy League university in Rhode Island. He inherits a restaurant in New Orleans and attempts to sell it, but is influenced by Voodoo to return to New Orleans and carry on the family business. The show initially appeared to be light and trivial, like a newcomer in a strange new land type of thing, but it actually had a serious tone of discussions on race, class, and other societal issues. It was one of the first instances of a drain deep. Okay, what's going on? What you so happy about? I just met a brown man out there. Well, is that so unusual, Frank? Oh yeah, I'm a brown man too. Frank's Place also stars Tim Reed's wife, actress Daphne Maxwell Reed. Although the show had some teeth to it, it was well before its time, so it wasn't received as well as it should have been. There was a bit of controversy surrounding the cancellation of Frank's Place involving Lawrence Tisch, the CEO of CBS. Prohibitive reproduction costs having to do with the show's soundtrack not being properly secured in its initial run have made it so that there is no official DVD release to date. Number 4. Charlie and Company Did you know Gladys Knight and Flip Wilson had a TV show? That's right, they did, and it was created during the Shaun of the Cosby show, but it didn't last longer than one season. Charlie and Company starred Flip Wilson as Charlie and Gladys Knight as his wife, Diana. They were a middle-class family living life on Chicago's South Side, as opposed to the Huxtables who were an upper-middle-class family living life in affluent Brooklyn Heights, New York. Picture of me when I was in high school. Big deal, so you were beautiful. Lauren, you got a long way to go. <laughs> the show also featured Della Reese, Jalio White, and Christoph St. John. CBS Blue Collar Answer to NBC Cosby show was a ratings failure, but it was still good to see Wilson and Knight on screen, and it was even better to hear Gladys Knight singing the theme song. Number 5. Just Jordan. Just Jordan is a show about a kid named Jordan Lewis who moves from Little Rock, Arkansas to Los Angeles. The show follows his daily exploits, which tend to be comical, to preteens. Of course, he also had a bratty little sister, a couple of bros, and a mother with eyes in the back of her head. 
I am protesting on the down low. I'm wearing polka dot underwear. Fight the power. What you want to order? Guys, it's only been one day. The show stars Lil JJ in the lead role and it aired on Nickelodeon as a part of their Teen Nick lineup. The series only lasted two seasons, but you can sometimes catch reruns on Nickelodeon.